Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the 11 foods you should never eat when you are your trademark symbol re-pregnant. But before we begin, kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Pregnancy comes with a mix of emotions while full of excitement at times it can also be quite scary. There's usually a list of things you need to stay away from in order for your baby to be safe. Let's focus on your diet for this video. Today we're going to discuss foods you should avoid while pregnant which seafood is dangerous. Should you continue with your caffeine addiction? Wait, I have to stay away from certain meats. We're talking about all that and more. Number 1. Raw meat. Meat is loaded with essential nutrients that are great for the fetus but you have to make sure it's cooked properly the quality of the meat will dictate its safety. Raw meat can put your baby in real danger. Bacteria like salmonella can make it go bad, this will cause toxoplasmosis. This doesn't mean you completely remove beef, veal, pork, poultry and seafood from your diet you just need to cook it properly. Remember to cook your whole cuts at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. You will turn it up to 160 degrees for ground meats like hamburgers and 165 for chicken breast, cold meats are fine as well but they have to be cooked perfectly. What's your favorite kind of meat? How do you like to cook? It sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our health concern community. Number 2. Deli meat. All you smoked turkey lovers and honey baked ham eaters must be confused. Right about now you need to understand that deli meats can be seriously contaminated. By a bad bacteria called Listeria. You know how nutrients are transferred from mother to the baby through the placenta. Well, bacteria also goes this way as soon as it reaches the baby's system it starts doing harm to them. It has the potential to enter the unborn baby's blood and even cause a miscarriage. If you're a lover of deli items this poses a problem you need to be cautious. If you're going to still eat them remember to reheat hot dogs, luncheon meats, cold cuts refrigerated patties, and meat spreads until it's steaming hot. This will kill off the bacteria and make it safer to eat. Number 3. Fish with Mercury. Fish is a great source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids but when it comes to mercury it can be toxic for your body. A few fish like swordfish, shark mackerel, and tilefish cause developmental delays, metabolic problems, and brain damage in unborn babies. Can tuna has a similar amount of mercury than regular tuna but moderation remains the key. You should also avoid fish that can be served as sushi they may have higher mercury levels. The takeaway is to avoid certain fish that can harm your baby without you realizing. Looking for answers in all the latest health and wellness news. Hit that subscribe button and join our followers. Stay up to date on all our great health concern content. Number 4. Smoked Seafood. This is another food that should be off limits for pregnant females. Smoked seafood remains one of the worst foods for expecting mothers. The refrigerated section of your grocery store can have smoked seafood labeled as kippered, jerky, nova style or even lox. All these foods should be avoided due to listeria. Yep, you can find it in seafood as well. However can smoked seafood typically found in the deli section is safe to eat. If the seafood you're eating has been served to you on a dish make sure it's been cooked properly. If so you should be in the clear heating the seafood will kill off the dangerous bacteria. Number 5. Eggs. You and your baby need extra energy to carry on through those 9 months. Eggs have a bunch of vitamins and minerals that are essential for making your baby healthy they also lower the baby's chances of having brain or spinal cord disorders. So if these are the effects what's the big deal? Well, like other foods on our list the eggs have to be cooked the right way, having raw or semi-cooked eggs can really hurt again you need to worry about salmonella. This infection can cause the mother to experience fever, bloating, abdominal cramps, vomiting and headache. Miscarriage, preterm birth, and death of the fetus can also be side effects. 
If you plan on making Caesar salad, dressing mayonnaise, ice cream, custard or eggnog just skip using the raw egg. Commercially available products and restaurant dishes will have pasteurized eggs in their recipes which makes them much safer to eat. Number 6. Raw Shellfish. Pregnancy does funny things to your body and food cravings are one of them. Having an extra pickle slice is safe but if you're having uncontrollable oyster cravings you need to watch out. Generally shellfish like oyster, clams and mussels can be enjoyed raw. Your body's immune system becomes weak during pregnancy this leaves you vulnerable to food poisoning and infection. Remember to fry, broil, bake or boil shellfish if you have to eat them. Cooking can prevent algae-related infections related to red tides. Take extra precautions and make sure you buy the freshest shellfish. They should have completely closed shells and smell like salt water. Remember to keep cooked fish away from the raw containers in the fridge. Should be wrapped with plastic or sealed up. If you're cooking with shellfish be sure to wash your hands from time to time. This will get rid of the bacteria that may have latched onto your fingers. Number 7. Cheese. Attention all pregnant cheese lovers we're sorry if we've broken your heart, this is just another 9 month sacrifice you'll have to make. Soft cheeses generally don't use pasteurized milk. This increases the chances of listeria. Now if you live somewhere like the United States it would be difficult for you to find a cheese that's non-pasteurized. You should still be careful listeria could linger in pasteurized milk as well. Make sure you read the back of the product. Before buying cheese, look for the label reading made from pasteurized milk cheeses. We eat on the regular like cream cheese or cottage cheese are extremely safe so go ahead with those. Number 8. Unpasteurized milk. I know we just mentioned it but it deserves its own quick little entry on our list. Unpasteurized milk can also increase your chances of being infected by listeria. This makes it so much more harmful for your baby. This is why you should only buy store-bought milk. Number 9. Freshly squeezed juice. How many of you chug down glasses of freshly squeezed juice thinking that it's healthy just because it doesn't have any added sugar? Well, you thought wrong. Drinking freshly squeezed juice can increase your exposure to salmonella and E. coli bacteria. There's a special kind of procedure that juices generally undergo before they reach the grocery store aisle. The more bacteria is in your juice the higher chance you have of getting food poisoning. Number 10. Caffeine. If you're a caffeine addict going 9 long months without it can be a hard task. Going cold turkey right away is probably the best but if you're unable to do so 200 mg a day should be your limit. Avoid it completely in the first trimester as coffee can eliminate fluids from your body that can be dangerous if the water level around the baby drops too low. Caffeine can enter your body through other tricky foods like soda chocolate, energy drinks and even types of medicine. So if you have 200 mg you can easily go overboard with just a piece of chocolate. Having too much caffeine during pregnancy can be linked to premature birth, low birth weight and even withdrawal symptoms in a few infants so it's best to avoid it altogether. Number 11. Alcohol. This is one of the most important entries on our list. Stay away from booze. Pregnancy can pose problems for routine drinkers, if you're unaware that you're pregnant a few drinks can hurt your baby. Stay away from alcohol for the entire length of your pregnancy. Unlike caffeine there is no safe amount of alcohol to drink when you're pregnant. It can cause brain damage, birth defects, delayed development, and learning disabilities for your child. Mothers who drink a lot may have to deal with fetal alcohol syndrome with their babies. Kicking your favorite foods often feels like an impossible task, there's always going to be a list of foods and drinks you shouldn't have. Which foods did you avoid in your pregnancy? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more content like this one. Bye for now. Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the 13 foods that are good to eat while you're pregnant. 
but before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. My dear ladies, are you pregnant? Do you feel hungry most of the time? Don't worry we've got your back. You've probably heard a lot of advice on what foods to eat while pregnant. One thing's for sure you need to eat foods that are good for both you and your baby. In today's video we're talking about 13 foods you need to eat while you're pregnant. Are dairy products okay, are soybeans, chickpeas, and peanuts safe? We'll talk about all this and more, so watch until the end to know them all. Number 1. Dairy Products. When you're pregnant your body will need additional calcium and protein to meet the demands of the growing child in you. For this reason you need to include Dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt in your daily diet. Dairy products have two very important proteins, these are casein and whey. At the same time dairy products are also the best sources of calcium. There are other important nutrients like B vitamins, magnesium, and zinc. If you're lactose intolerant you may still be able to eat yogurt if not there are lactose free dairy products you can have that will still give you your needed nutrients. Do you like eating dairy products, which one's your favorite? Share your preferences with the health concern community in the comments below. Number 2. Legumes. Legumes include vegetables like peas, lentils, beans, and soybeans. Chickpeas and peanuts also fall under this category. They are all rich in fiber, protein, and iron. You also get lots of folate and calcium. These are all extremely important nutrients for pregnant women to have. When you're pregnant your body needs at least 600 micrograms of folate a day. Since you can't get it through regular food it's important to eat legumes to meet the requirement. You can also try using supplements but only if a doctor recommends it. Number 3. Sweet Potatoes. Not only do sweet potatoes have some really good fiber they are also packed with beta-carotene. This is a crucial plant compound that gets transformed into vitamin A in your body. The reason vitamin A is crucial during pregnancy is because it helps your baby's development in the womb. You could get vitamin A from organ meats but the downside is you could suffer from toxicity. Sweet potatoes don't cause any of these problems. Another good thing about sweet potato is that it can be cooked in several different ways. Variety is a plus when it comes to food. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our followers, stay up to date on all our great health concern content. Number 4. Salmon. You need to eat some salmon ASAP. It contains omega-3 fatty acids, these particular fatty acids help develop the baby's eyes and brain. Salmon can also increase the gestation length. Your doctor may have suggested that you avoid seafood especially the kind high in mercury luckily salmon doesn't fall into that list. Instead you should avoid seafood such as king mackerel, swordfish, merlin, and shark. Salmon also has vitamin D in it which our bodies are almost always in need of. Number 5. Eggs. Eggs are one of the most beneficial foods to have in your diet even if you're not pregnant. They have almost every important nutrient you need even if the amount varies. When you eat a large egg you will get 80 calories, high quality protein, and many of the vitamins and minerals. More importantly eggs have choline an important nutrient for pregnant women. It helps develop the baby's brain and ensures there are no issues with both the brain and baby's spine. If you eat one egg you'll get as much as 147 mg of choline compared to the 450 mg a pregnant woman needs. Number 6. Broccoli and Dark Leafy Greens. Broccoli and leafy greens probably aren't your favorite choices. But broccoli and other greens like kale and spinach compact with nutrients. These foods have vitamins A, C, and K as well as fiber, calcium, iron, and folate. Eating your vegetables while pregnant has also shown to reduce the chances of a low birth weight. All the fiber will reduce constipation making your bathroom trips much easier. Number 7. Lean Meat and Proteins. Lean meat such as beef, pork, and chicken compact with high-quality protein. 
Beef and pork are also great sources of iron, choline, and B vitamins. The other advantage of eating lean meat is the amount of iron you get. If you don't have enough iron in your body you could suffer from iron deficiency anemia, which also increases the risk of low birth weight. It can cause other complications as well. Number 8. Berries. When you eat berries you can get a lot of important nutrients such as vitamin C, fiber, and antioxidants. They also help with hydration all thanks to the water. They also come with healthy carbs. Berries also have a low glycemic index which means your blood sugar levels won't go up too much after you eat them. You can eat berries as a snack especially since they don't add a lot of calories. When you're pregnant the best kind of berries to eat would be blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. You can also have them in a smoothie. Number 9. Whole grains. You should stick to eating whole grains when you're pregnant. They are packed with important nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and plant compounds. Instead of eating white bread, white rice, and pasta you should stick to oats, brown rice, barley, and quinoa. Oats and quinoa have good amounts of protein, in the case of pregnancy they can provide B vitamins, fiber, and magnesium. Number 10. Avocados. Avocados have become a recent favorite among many people looking to get healthy. It's a unique fruit with a lot of monounsaturated fatty acids. Along with this, avocados can packed with fiber, folate, vitamin C, E and K, B vitamins, and potassium. Because of all the important nutrients present in avocados it's a great fruit to have when you're pregnant. All the healthy fats in avocados help develop the skin, brain, and tissues of your child. The folate in this fruit also helps avoid neural tube defects and developmental problems with the brain and spine during your pregnancy. Some women experience leg cramps but the potassium and avocados can help you find relief. In fact, avocados have more potassium than bananas. Number 11. Dried fruits. When you have dried fruit you get a lot of fiber, essential vitamins, and minerals. They also come with a high amount of calories. A piece of dried fruit has the same nutrients you get from the fresh variety only you won't be getting any of the water. If you consume one serving of dried fruit you'll get most of your body's daily requirements of vitamins and minerals. But you need to ensure you only have one serving of dried fruit in a day as they carry a large amount of natural sugar. Number 12. Fish liver oil. Fish liver oil is rich in the omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DA. These particular fatty acids are necessary for the development of the child's brain and eyes. The fish oil can also help prevent premature birth. If you consume a single serving usually around 15 milliliters you'll get more than your body's daily requirement of omega-3's vitamin D and vitamin A. But you should not have more than one serving. Too much vitamin A may be harmful to the child growing in your womb. Number 13. Water. It goes without saying that water is quite possibly the most important thing to have. This is especially true during pregnancy as your blood volume rises by about 45. When you're pregnant the body directs your water to the growing baby so if you're not careful you may become dehydrated yourself. Drink water every day and lots of it your diet during pregnancy. It's crucial to your baby's health as well as yours. Are you pregnant or trying to get pregnant? Would you consider eating any of these foods regularly? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now. Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. In today's video, we will be talking about foods you need to eat if you want to manage polycystic ovary syndrome. But before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. We all know food is a vital part of our lives. It provides nutrients, vitamins, and minerals necessary to operate properly. Research proves that dietary changes are the most successful ways to manage polycystic ovary syndrome or POS. Today we'll be discussing foods that can fight this very condition. Do whole foods help, what about anti-inflammatory foods, 
How important is exercise? We're talking all of that and more, so watch till the end to know more. What the heck is polycystic ovary syndrome? Pose or polycystic ovary syndrome is a condition that causes hormone imbalance and metabolism issues in women. Research shows that one out of every 10 women experience this condition. Pose can lead to the development of other serious conditions like diabetes, depression, heart diseases, and increased risk of cancer. The exact cause of pose is not known, but the symptoms include pelvic pain, thinning of the hair, weight gain, unwanted hair growth, infertility, and irregularity in the menstrual cycle. Making the right changes to your diet should be the first step when you're diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome. Medication can help improve your condition but diet and lifestyle have more of an impact. The ultimate objective of a polycystic ovary syndrome diet is weight management. Let's talk about the food choices you should make if you have it. Number 1. Whole foods These foods are rich in fiber and have a low glycemic index. Our body takes a longer time to metabolize whole foods. This means that they are slowly absorbed into your bloodstream and less insulin is required to deal with them. Studies show that a higher intake of whole grains reduces the risk of polycystic ovary syndrome by 64. Less insulin means less production of testosterone in our bodies. You can include whole foods like healthy oils, fish, seeds, nuts, vegetables, and fruits in your pose diet. Which whole food is your favorite? Has it made you feel healthier? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our health concern community. Number 2. Foods with healthy fats. Many of us believe that fats are bad for your health and can lead to weight gain. But healthy fat contributes to a significant part of our diet. Hormones in your body are produced using fats as well as a sheath that surrounds our nerves. Keep in mind, there's no special diet for polycystic ovary syndrome. But eating right and staying active can help you manage your symptoms effectively. Smart fats can help you feel satisfied for longer, they can also help you lower the glycemic index of foods. Polycystic ovary syndrome can cause mild inflammation which will increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease and other serious, health conditions. Healthy fats are known to reduce inflammation in the body, making them an essential component of your polycystic ovary syndrome diet. If you want to include some healthy fats in your diet, go for some coconut oil, whole eggs, chia seeds, dark chocolate, coconut extra, virgin olive oil, avocados, and fatty fish. Have I caught your interest yet? Well then, hit that subscribe button to watch more videos and join our followers for more amazing health concern content. Number 3. Organic Meat. If you're suffering from polycystic ovary syndrome, Premium quality meat is perfect for you. Plant-based meat contains fewer hormones and the livestock is less likely to have been fed genetically modified foods. When fed to standard livestock, modified foods often contain pesticides which make it difficult to manage hormone levels. They can also worsen symptoms of POS. Along with organic meat, organic dairy products such as natural yogurt are beneficial for women with POS, they contain healthy bacteria. You can add at least one serving of organic meat to your pose diet every day. One serving is the same as a piece of chicken or fish the size of the palm of your hand. You can also include a 3 to 4 cup of tofu if you want. Salmon, skinless chicken, and tuna are the best options. Remember not to skip your meals eat at least 3 a day at appropriate times if you feel hungry in between go for healthy snacks such as unsweetened yogurt, low-fat crackers or fresh fruit. Number 4. Foods with a lower glycemic index. Glycemic index is the value assigned to foods on the basis of how slowly or rapidly they can increase your blood sugar levels. Food items that do not cause a huge spike in insulin levels are considered to be foods with a low glycemic index. They are usually unrefined, unprocessed and rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. If you're planning a diet for polycystic ovary syndrome make sure you steer clear of foods that have added sugars. These foods can increase your glycemic load. Research has shown that foods low on the glycemic index tend to help weight loss which is the primary concern for women with polycystic ovary syndrome. Number 5. 
Protein foods. Foods high in protein such as peanut, butter, avocado, beans, eggs, and tofu are an essential part of a healthy polycystic ovary syndrome eating plan. Combining high-protein foods with carbohydrates can slow the absorption of said carbs and lead to lower insulin levels. For instance, if you're a fan of rice try adding beans or a little avocado to balance the effect. Remember just like any other disease polycystic ovary syndrome also responds positively to proactive lifestyle choices. So exercise and daily physical movement are equally as important as your diet. Number 6. Anti-inflammatory foods. Women with polycystic ovary syndrome have low levels of chronic inflammation. This makes them more resistant to insulin and prone to weight gain. Making sure your polycystic ovary syndrome diet is rich in anti-inflammatory foods will help manage your symptoms effectively while also keeping track of your insulin levels. Some delicious anti-inflammatory foods you can add to your diet are green tea, dark leafy veggies, blueberries, broccoli, cherries, beans, olives, cauliflower, and coconut. You can also consume red wine in moderation. If you're a meat lover, cold water fish such as salmon and sardines can be a good choice. Spices and herbs are also anti-inflammatory so you can use them to make your meals tastier. Don't forget to include yoga and meditation in your everyday routine. If you have polycystic ovary syndrome the symptoms associated with this disease can cause stress and these techniques will help you calm your mind and let you connect with your body. Number 7. Fruits. Fruits are rich in fiber and an excellent source of vitamins and minerals. There are several women out there who feel a little hesitant to include fruits in their polycystic ovary syndrome diet. This is because of their sugar content. However, if consumed in the right portions fresh fruit can be a healthy alternative to fried snacks. Fruits are important for providing the right nutrients for your body to combat the symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome. You can always choose fruits with a low glycemic index such as apricots, prunes, plums, cherries, and grapes in your polycystic ovary syndrome diet to enjoy double benefits. Don't forget to try healthy cooking meals, this way you'll enjoy the overall advantages of your polycystic ovary syndrome diet. Select baking, grilling, microwaving or steaming instead of deep frying or roasting if you're dealing with polycystic ovary syndrome or any of its symptoms. You may feel irritated at times, taking the right steps to improve your health will not only enhance your mood but also help you reverse your symptoms. Experts suggest developing a good food bad food list and sticking to it. You can eat unprocessed whole grain, bread and cereal to keep your hormone and sugar levels in check. If your symptoms are still bothering you, get in touch with your gynecologist they can recommend the next steps easily. There are several delicious meals you can make for yourself using polycystic ovary syndrome friendly items. Here's what you need to know. Do you or anyone you know suffer from polycystic ovary syndrome let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now. Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the 6 secret diet changes that can give you a flatter stomach. But before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Losing weight is extremely difficult. Anybody who's tried it can tell you weight loss requires discipline and dedication. When you see a person who's dropped a large amount of weight you want them to reveal their secret, sometimes it's just a matter of small adjustments to our diet. In today's video we'll talk about 6 diet changes that can give you a flat stomach. Does including vitamin B in your diet help? What about eating slowly? Wait a second, how is eating lunch at a restaurant healthier than dinner at a restaurant? We'll discuss all this and more. Number 1. Vitamin B to get rid of stomach fat. If you don't know psychological stress can cause belly fat to form. When you're under a lot of stress your body creates more cortisol also known as the stress hormone, while cortisol is beneficial during moments of fight or flight excessive production can cause cortisol spikes. Some research suggests it may cause fat deposits in the abdomen stress depletes vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6, and B12. 
all of which help maintain a healthy neurological system and the reduction of abdominal fat. Research has observed that people who voluntarily take vitamin B12 supplements gained between 3 to 17 fewer pounds over 10 years than those who did not use supplements. Incorporating B vitamins from dark leafy greens, avocados, sunflower seeds, almonds, broccoli, beans, lentils and citrus fruits can be helpful for stress relief and getting rid of belly fat. How do you include vitamin B in your diet? What's your favorite vitamin B rich food? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our health concern community. Number 2. Eat slowly to cut down on your belly fat. If you eat too quickly and forget to control your portions, your belly is going to get bigger. Eating slowly can reduce the amount of food ingested throughout a meal, this is thanks to an increase in satiety hormones. The logic is quite simple when you wolf down your food quickly you swallow extra air which causes bloating. Inflammatory foods like gluten and dairy products as well as high-fiber meals can worsen bloating and gas, especially if the gut lacks the enzymes required for proper digestion. Slowly adding cruciferous, veggies and fiber-rich foods is an excellent approach to avoiding releasing gas and bloating. You need to chew your meals properly before swallowing, this takes more time to do. A study demonstrated that when the number of chews per bite rose from 15 to 40 calorie intake fell and satiety hormone levels increased. So the next time you go to your parents' house to eat Sunday dinner, don't get all anxious about the massive portion sizes, just try taking your time and chew slower. Have I caught your interest? Well, then hit that subscribe button to watch more videos. Join our followers for more amazing health concern content. Number 3. Intermittent fasting. This is one you've definitely heard about. If you have a friend who's a workout enthusiast they've certainly brought up intermittent fasting once or twice. Well, have you ever considered the idea that they are onto something? Limiting your eating window can help your body's ability to burn fat. Intermittent fasting is based on this principle, daily 16-hour fasts or fasting for 24 hours twice a week are the most common ways to do this. Our bodies are fat-burning machines, while we sleep this spills over. When we wake up if we keep that fast going for a few hours after waking up we can burn more belly fat. The most common reason for people to try intermittent fasting is weight loss once we eat carbs and sugar our metabolism slows down dramatically, we store the calories that aren't burned. Extending your non-eating window until 11 am or noon will give you about 16 hours of continuous calorie burning. The right fuel at the right time combined with resistance exercise and a little cardio can have incredible effects on body composition. Also intermittent fasting alters hormone levels which aids weight loss, this method increases the release of the fat-burning hormone known as norepinephrine in addition to lowering insulin and increasing growth hormone levels. So the next time your health friend lectures you on the importance of this fasting method you might want to listen to them. Number 4. Eat lunch out instead of dinner. How many of you eat at restaurants? Depending on our social life many of us eat out several times a week. Even some of our jobs require meeting with co-workers and wolfing down greasy fried foods this catches up in the long run. The people we hang out with have a tremendous influence on what we eat and how we eat it. They may order extra appetizers, bread or another round of drinks you never thought of eating. This makes it difficult to stick to your diet. One study found that just by being armed with the right information on how to eat healthier, people who ate out several times per week were able to lose weight easier than those who weren't as informed. Now you're probably wondering what you could do to avoid eating out with your friends all the time. Well, cheer up, you don't have to change your social life around we just suggest you meet your friends for lunch instead of dinner. It's easier to navigate lunches especially when it comes to escaping dessert and alcoholic beverages you're a lot less likely to consume either of these things during this time of day, that is unless you have some wild afternoon craving for chocolate cake. So what if you're on a diet and you have no choice but to eat dinner at a restaurant? There's still hope for you according to research eating an apple or a light soup before going to a restaurant can reduce the total calories consumed by 20. So if you have no choice but to eat out for dinner try eating something healthy beforehand, you will at least avoid some of the appetizers. Number 5. 
Consume a fiber-rich diet. For those of you who don't know, the most difficult type of fat to lose is abdominal fat. That's the fat that's been wrapped around the organs and has been associated with metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes and heart disease. According to research the weight loss effect of fiber targets belly fat which is the most dangerous fat in your abdominal cavity. Eating more fiber will help you lose that stubborn tummy. Make sure some of the fiber you're using is soluble and can be dissolved in water. Additional studies have found that people who consume more soluble fiber have a lower chance of developing belly fat. It works as a prebiotic that your good gut flora ferment to make short-chain fatty acids, which studies have linked to a smaller belly. Opting for meals high in soluble fiber such as beans, legumes, oats, barley and cruciferous vegetables can help you flatten your stomach. It's certainly not as fun as eating at a restaurant but it sure is a lot healthier. Number 6. Add herbs and spices to speed up the flat stomach process. Yes, you heard it right. What you keep in your spice cabinet is just as important as the food you're eating. Many herbs and spices have been shown to fight cavities and boost fat burning and weight loss. Turmeric, fenugreek, ginger, nutmeg, sage, thyme, cinnamon, curry leaf and chili pepper spices lower blood sugar levels by improving your body's response to insulin. A study reported that adults who took a cumin supplement three times a day dropped three pounds more than those who received a placebo. Saffron may help people control their snacking and diabetics lose abdominal fat according to research. Another study found that overweight people who took cardamom grew less belly fat and had lower blood sugar, cholesterol and inflammatory levels. Make sure you combine these spices with herbs in a well-rounded balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle to get rid of your belly fat effectively. It's always hard to lose weight but you need to try, abdominal fat has been related to a higher risk of certain diseases. Most people lose belly fat by making lifestyle adjustments like changing their diet and exercising more. Have I sparked your interest with this video? Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section. Do you know any effective flat tummy tricks? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now.